Hey everybody, welcome back to Everspace. Fanstar Zero here with you. It's been a long time coming. Been waiting for my computer to parts to come in, and they finally did, and it took quite a bit of time for me to get her rebuilt and all set to make some more videos for you guys. I'm really happy I got this done, and I'm really happy to be back to play some more games with you guys. So why not go back to where I started everything with Everspace? And I found out that we are actually up to version 0.4. So basically, in my absence, I missed an entire update patch. In which case, I have no idea what's in this game right now. This is gonna be fun. Let's go in. I forgot what I did up to this point, so we're gonna do a little bit of recapping. Ah, let's see here. Enhancements are available. Go to the setup screen in order to install or uninstall enhancements. Note that enhancements can't be unequipped during runs. Some enhancements will only offer small value changes. Others will come with big positives and negative effects and can greatly affect the run. During runs, go to the stats screen to see which enhancements you have equipped and what their effects are. Alright, so basically, the first thing we come across for something new in 4 point edition is enhancements. And I guess it's like special pieces we attach to the ship. Let's see, we got the big guy here, still looking burly and tough as ever. Got the Star Princess going on right here. And the old and glor glory interceptor. Alright now, let's see, let's go to that setup screen to see if we have any enhancements. Oh! I forgot, we can also change the color. That was one of the things I think they said we can do. I did notice in the email. So, ship color one. Oh, there are 14 colors? Oh! But there are multiples. I see. That's what this looks like then. Wait. Oh, I can actually change. Oh, that's nice. Okay. So, we can actually do a custom design. Oh, I can't wait to get purple and black <laughs> so I can do my logo colors. Alright, that's pretty cool. Let's uh let's quit out of this real quick. Let's go back. How do I do that? Ah, escape, there we go. Okay, so let's see. Enhancements. Uh no enhancements installed. Press select to install an enhancement. So let's see, change. I have jump drive. Don't we always have a jump drive? What does this do? Save 0% to 50% of fuel when jumping. Increases the jump charge duration and cooldown by 100%. Well, I think we need a jump drive, so I might as well throw that on there. I'm not sure if that's what we've always had, or is this is a, mod a modifier. It says save 0 to 50% of fuel when jumping. So I guess I don't spend up to 50%. It increases the jump charge. Cooldown. Okay. So that's for this ship. Is this... I know that from the 3.0 updates. That, uh... Each ship had their own special... You know... Oh, crap. I didn't mean to back out. Had their own special traits. Let's get back in here. Does this also affect the current ship as well? Like, setups and certain things can only be equipped? like that back out can I change these okay so we have different loadouts now so instead of me going with one particular set starting off I can change that around that's not bad let's see you have locked one of three loadouts for the colonial gunship reach sector four with the colonial gunship to unlock loadout B I've done that before I'm not sure it was with, the, with the, the big guy though. Okay, and yeah, unfortunately, I guess it doesn't keep the previous. Uh, let's just equip a jump drive on all of them. Um, no, didn't, didn't keep it. Here we go, install. All right, I guess it doesn't keep the information I had previously. So all the stuff I did working towards. Uh, things and stuff and stuff and things just never carried over 
So, what we are going to do... Gonna make the ship dark. Ooh, a bunch of orange all around it. That's not bad. Is she gray and white? How's that look? That's not bad. I like that. Let's go with this. Let's go check out our perks. Okay, it doesn't seem like anything's been reset, which is good. We still have two in critical hit, two in critical hit chance, three in sc uh, scanners, nothing crafting, but we do get bonus resources. Our loot is three and one, or four and one. Looks like the components are being used as well. Lucky jump chance. Creating. I thought I had that up. No, I had this up to keep uh, the GB off my tail. I might need to work on trading then. And bonus equipment. Alright. And I was kind of working on his primary. But I think mostly was the, uh, yep, the drones I was working on. Because I want to have the big guy run a mini fleet with him. If possible. And keep that energy capacity going on. All right, well, we spent uh, quite a bit of time here in the prep screen. Just double checking some things for section two without taking all hit. I don't think we can do that with the big guy, unless I'm more careful. But uh, other than that, let's take him out for a spin. Drone override and damage booster. Let's take the damage booster. Stay normal. We're not going any harder than that. And we're off. Again, fellas, everybody. It's, it's great to be back. Oh, I guess I did make it without getting hit that one time. That's nice. It's not there anymore. Nothing like a gunship to make you feel like you're in control of a situation, huh? That voice sounded different. Yeah, yeah. And for some reason, I'm not sure if it's just my headset or the way it's 7.1 surround sound for the headset. But I'm not hearing, I guess, the computer system talking. Seems like a little fight. That's, uh. Oh, he took him out. That's not good. I just realized I should have just launched the drone right away. Need to get you certain things. It's just kind of low for me, but. Oh! You actually gotta hold it now! Interesting, it's not just a push and, push and use. That's a change. Oh boy, alright, let's uh... Do I have a drone on me? Yes I do, okay. Oh, okay. No, no, no. Go, go! Ah! Let's hold! Okay, let's, let's, get, let's get going. My little buddy alone. Ooh, I like the extra animations they added to the game. The explosions are actually a lot, a lot robust now. It's pretty cool. Let's see, it's a pulse laser. Yeah, the HUD's slightly different. I gotta get used to this. If any of you guys been playing and uh, and know about any other new things that I should be worried about or maybe excited for, let me know. If I haven't already run into them by the time this video comes out. Uh, let's see here. Containers, containers. Another container. Let's go you. Oh boy, it feels good to be playing this thing again. Oop. 
Gatling turret? Are you better? Nope, you're exactly the same. Alright, so, our scrap. That was my drone. It's okay. Oh, the drone even looks a little different. <laughs> yeah, this game, they, they look like they enhanced the animations quite a bit in the art style. I wonder how those, um, got nanos there. I should see that pulse laser. It's a better one I already have. It has a plus next to it. I have a fusion kit blaster. You know what? No. Let's not use the pulse laser. If it was a beam laser, I'd definitely grab those. Hey, tech container. Tech container. Is this a ship? Or a base? Okay, it's a base. How about the second? The asteroid just looks like a shape of a, a ship. Like, oh! Ah! Alright, alright. Let's get those blasters working again. My fault though, I should have realized that not every asteroid is going to be safe, is pirates. I can tell there's a lot more weight to this ship as well. Oh. Energy injector. Can I use that right now? Instantly adds a huge amount of energy for your core. It adds 120 and it doesn't have a duration. Let's use it. Let's see why not. Shock rifle. Ooh, that's right. I can't even use this. It's designed for uh, the interceptor and scout. Alright, so that's that. Let's see here. Let's get some scrap going on. Some power cells. Is there another container in here? Yep, there is. Oh, nothing inside. Oh, Alright, let's not hit the asteroid. Gotta use the flying again. You know, I did do a bit of Star Citizen. It's still. The game feels different than what it used to be. It's not as responsive in a sense like um there's a bit more weight to the ship and I like that oh god dang it I don't have time here at least my little buddy's pulling his weight it's pretty nice oh he's got another friend here no little buddy is pretty good for me right now. So let's grab that. Okay, what else am I... Oh, there it is. Beam laser! Boom! And it's not a plus though, unfortunately. But always go for the beams, in my opinion. Always go for the beams. Alright, anywhere else, oh, goodness, oh car, my best friends, oh, how much longer I can stay around before I get assaulted by the, uh, the battle fleet, oh my goodness, that's a lot, oh car, let's get a little buddy out here, they've locked on to you, yes, I know that, 
Oh no, little buddy! I'm out. I don't want to feel like taking more than 82 right now. And that's not going to work. I gotta fight these guys. Oh, oh god, no. I'm dead. I'm dead. Little buddy, distract them. There's my missile. I was wondering why I wasn't farming missiles for a second. No! Little buddy! Just Come on, die already! Nothing like a bit of bloodlust to stir the spirit. Ha <laughs> ha Shut up! Thank you, all these missiles. One more, come on! Ah! Yes! Oh, come on, I almost had them all! Ugh. Alright, well, it's pretty obvious I'm a little rusty behind the wheel. That was my fault. I shouldn't have stuck around in a fight. I didn't have any chance of winning. Was my pilot's name actually Clint Eastwood? Oh, Clinton Wood. Sorry. I'm like, my brain went to Clint Eastwood for some strange reason. <laughs> oh boy. Alright, well, damage limiter. I got 2k cash, which is quite a bit for Area 1 currency. Fascinating. 16 kills, 8 minutes, Sector 1. Alright, well, everybody. Uh. <laughs> sorry for the short video. This was just as much of a test to see if I can get some good videos out for you guys with my new updates and system, how everything performs. And also to see if. And also just. Not even to see, just to get something back to. Give something back to you guys. But, uh, next time we come up, I'm gonna kick out some cash for my ships, and we'll see what we're going to do ahead of time in the future. Uh, as for the channel, I'm going to be starting up with Cloud Build again, just to let you guys know. We're going to be jumping into those other three miserable levels. I, I, I haven't played them, I just know they're going to be miserable. I, this time off probably gave me a bit of chance to prepare myself mentally for the frustration I'm going to experience with Cloud Build. So with that, I'm gonna we're gonna jump into that probably later on in the week. You'll be seeing a video for that. As well as I have picked up a new game. Um, I really want to play for the channel. Some friends of mine have told me that it's a really good game and that I might love to play it and also want to play for you guys. So I will be doing that soon. Uh, it's a game that came out earlier on in March. It's an RPG, so it'll be one of the first full-fledged RPGs I'm doing for the channel, which is actually one of my favorite genres, next to sci-fi. And I'm hoping to have fun with that as well. Hopefully this it will be a quite enjoying series for you guys to watch as well. Plus, since it's been out for a bit, if any of you guys may fall side hints, feel free to not share them, because I want to experience all of the pain and glory of the game as I go through it. I'm not going to give its name out, because I want it to be a surprise, but when it comes out, you'll pretty much see what it is. But, uh, if there's anything you guys want to know, or see me play in, in the future, let me know. And... That's about it. Throw a like to the video if you enjoyed it, and I'll catch you guys later. Y'all have a good one.